All right, so let's begin with just an overall. Straight ahead is my vanity, my little corner of the house to do with as I please. And then the desk stretches over and this disaster over here would be Nick's desk. So this room doubles as my vanity, his office, and then as well as kind of like a music room. Um, those are his drums, obviously, and then his guitar. And then those are some stickers that I bought at Target that I wanted to decorate that door with because it is such ugly wood and it was in all my backgrounds and I just couldn't stand it and I couldn't figure out another solution and I absolutely love those aspens and birds so that was a good one and then through that door is just like our hallway and then our room you can see a bunch of crap on the floor <laughs> uh, this is my jewelry chest I guess um, the sides never close because I have so many necklaces in there. So those are all my like really long necklaces. I barely even wear them anymore. I'm not really sure why I've gotten out of it because I love them. And then this side ugh, has a few as well. And then this opens up and I have most of my earrings in here these are the ones that I wear most these are just like really big ones and then these ones actually are over here because they're paired with some necklaces so I have like a matching necklace to this little skull guy or these red ribbon ones so yeah these are some big special rings that I like never wear anymore but I used to love and wear them all the time these are all my belly button rings here, and then here's some septum rings in here. And then all of these drawers just pretty much have, like, bracelets in them. Some of them have these, like, big feather earrings in there. So, yeah, this one has, like, a whole bunch of headbands and shit. And then that's, I don't know, Sunday likes to lay on that. <laughs> my pink trash can that I love. And then these are for just like some notes or ideas for me to pin up there really quick. I have a video on how to make these. They take like two minutes to make. Um, so watch that. Okay, guys? I will put the link down below. <laughs> and then a calendar with a cute little finch. All right. On to the vanity. So I put up these shelves because they were cute but also just for some extra storage room. Um, I got this clock at Hobby Lobby and I just love it. I love the melting clock thing. Um, and then I just have my two perfumes in here that I wear the most, I guess. They're my biggest bottles and they're just so pretty. So I kind of use them as decoration. And just the little samples up there. My I love beer bracelet because, let's face it, I love beer. And then I use this bigger one. This is an old picture of me and Nick up at Idaho Springs. <laughs> um, but I use this one for storage for like my tall bottles. So makeup remover, fix plus, setting spray, and then a whole bunch of foundations. <laughs> and then this one is just there for now. This is my little ducky. He is tiny. Okay, look. Like, do you see how tiny he is? He's the smallest rubber ducky ever. He is so cute. He's a pirate. Do you see? Hold on. Let me see if it'll focus. He has a patch. He does not want to focus. He has an eye patch and horns. <laughs> I have had him for so long. Like, I think I would just cry my eyes out if I lost him. And then up here are my last point shoes from the last that I used to do point and I miss it so much and I keep that there with this painting Nick painted that for me um, and then that is a renaissance mask I bought at the renaissance festival and I love old-fashioned keys so um, and just dark blood red some of my favorite colors there this little decoration 
Okay, so the vanity itself. So the vanity is actually a vanity. So this down here. And then it had a mirror that was attached in the back that we took it off because it's too little. And then I used to just use that, but we needed more room and I needed more room and everything. So Nick actually made this. So he custom built it. If you see, it goes all the way across. And then to match, he built my vanity mirror. So this is what I wanted to make a video on was how to make this. Um, but like a few videos ago I linked some other girls videos down below for you to watch those because they are good videos and he made this for me for Christmas so I can't do a walkthrough on it anymore but so this is what I was going to show you so it has a dimmer I can't dim these specific light bulbs um, but just in case if I did get that get the right light bulbs then I could dim it if I wanted to I'm not really sure why I'd want to though and then over here, there is a plug-in for my curling irons if I want to do my hair, and a USB port to charge like my phone if I need it right by me, or my camera. And when I turn off the dimmer, it turns off everything, so I won't leave off, leave on my straightener all day like I always do. Um, these light bulbs are absolutely amazing. They are called daylight bulbs so the light in the room I don't you probably can't tell on camera but it is very natural light kind of that bluish daylight light so obviously daylight is the best light for doing makeup but so like a day like today where it's cloudy or if I want to film at night or something I was just having a lot of problems with shadows so I really wanted these daylight lights and they have changed everything, especially for filming. So anyways, um, I inserted or installed, I guess, this wall mirror. So this is what I do my makeup on every day. Um, I just love the, you know, doing my makeup at like hotels, how easy it is with these. So I went out and bought one. It was about 30 bucks on like a Lowe's website if you guys want one. That's my tripod for filming. Um, and then this little mirror over here is what I use while I'm filming to do my makeup. Because otherwise I'm looking off to the side on my wall mirror and you can't see anything. Um, that is my other camera that broke. <laughs> this is where I just keep like some notes, lists of things that I want, um, Sigma brushes, Kat Von D ideas. Um, I keep my like checkbook balancing in there, just like little things. And then, here is just my perfume thing that I went over a few days ago. Don't mind my hand. I was trying to get my eyeliner to work. Apparently my eyeliner is out. Anyways, so in this drawer, I don't use this drawer very much anymore. Um, I just have like some eyelashes in here. And then these for just taking off my makeup. I always have a paper towel on me to just kind of brush off my brushes in between my colors while I'm doing my makeup. Some lip glosses that I don't really use. My q-tips that I use for everything. Some pencil sharpeners. Gel eyeliners. And then I keep these. I got these with a couple of, I don't know, loose, loose powders. That they're actually good for applying the loose powder, like if you want to bake. And then my Mary Kay lip mask and balm. And some eyelash glue. So that's really all I use that drawer for. Although I'm thinking about putting my palettes in there because um, my really big palettes, they're just so big, like I don't really know what to do with them. So a couple of Kat Von D ones, Sephora one, I just keep them there. Um, here I just keep my beauty blenders, some old ones, kind of for decoration, but I definitely do use most of the ones in there. These are all my eyeliners nice and quick at hand so I can see what color I'm looking for and then my brush cups this is for my water or whatever to set on there so I don't want to ruin this um, so my brush cups so I have them organized <laughs> these are like my contour and highlight brushes these are like blush powder brushes I don't know these are my eyeshadow like flat brushes 
Um, a couple of blending ones in there. These are just like smaller brushes. This is like bigger brushes, smaller brushes. And then this cup, I have some pens and nail files, whatever, useful stuff, but I put my brushes that like need to be cleaned or brushed off better or whatever in here so that I know I can just come over here and grab them all and just go clean them. So yeah, <laughs> this little container just has like highlighters in there and my um, contour sticks, um, concealers, primers, yeah, that's pretty much all that's in there. I just cleaned that out um, because I got this little thing recently, but I'll get to that. And then here's just my cinema brush cleaner. So here are my lipsticks. Um, as you can see, I don't have, I'm missing one or two, I hope they're in my purse. Um, I don't have many. I think this little guy holds, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, so 24, so I have about 24 lipsticks. Um, I don't have very many lipsticks because I am super, super picky on my lipsticks. Um, I just feel like I love the colors that I have, and if I find another color, it's usually going to be so similar that I'm just like, no, I'm not going to buy it, I'm not going to buy it. So I'm so picky for my <laughs> lipsticks, I just don't have many, so don't laugh at me. So this little guy I got temporarily just for some orga organization issues that I was having. Um, it's off of Amazon, it cost me like 15 bucks. I don't know if I'd recommend it because it is so small. Uh, and I don't really like the drawers too much, but... So, I just have a couple of primers in there. And then this one I have, my liquid lipsticks, which again, I'm missing one or two. I hope they're in my purse. We went out last night for my dad's birthday, so... And then some of the NARS bees. And, yeah. And then in here is all my mascara. <laughs> this is actually gel eyebrow gel, but... Um, those are my mascaras in there. See, and this thing moves. I need to, like, get little stickies for it. And then in here, I have my single eyeshadows, eyeshadow primer. I am pretty much an eyeshadow palette whore, so I don't have too many loose eyeshadows. I actually have some from Makeup Geek coming in today. Hooray! And then in here I have all my face stuff, so like highlighters, um, powders, contours, bronzers, whatever, in there. And this one has all of my blushes down in here. So I don't have that much makeup, guys. And then in here is all my palettes, my eyeshadow palettes, except for this one. This is my contouring palette, but it just obviously fits perfectly here with the other Kat Von D ones, so yeah. So yeah, today I'll get to add, I guess I can add my Makeup Geeks to my Z palette, duh. Sweet. And so yeah, that is my vanity tour, guys. I hope you liked it. Oh, and then I have to, like, keep these cracked because I have nails and, like, these are so difficult. I got this stuff at the container store. In case you guys are wondering, this guy alone is, like, $30. So when I saw this for $15, I was like, oh, my God, what a deal. And then it came in. It was so small. I was like, oh, my God. I should have measured it. But anyways, so that is my vanity room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is my little corner of the world and... I absolutely love it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in my next video.